back, there always seems to be a theme that you see each yeah. week. What happened this week? Well, this week it was one of those things where a couple of things that are very common themes were very well featured in the Reporter Recap. Take a look. Here at News 8, we've learned something. When the weather gets weird. Yeah, it's coming. It's going to get bad. When the storm clouds roll in and the wind starts to whip. And when lightning strikes and rain pours down. That is pretty cool. We need this. We know you're going to be there to report it, giving us an edge when it comes to covering the weather. This past week's a great example, especially Tuesday evening when the sky looked downright dramatic. Check out these pictures from Charles and Avon, these from Chris in New Milford, and Brenda and Walt shot from Bethel. Rob sent us this from Shelton, and we got this from Carolyn in Brookfield. So many of you, like Nicole and Naugatuck, saw that wall of dark clouds pushing across the sky. As Brett, Connor, Doris, and Cesar showed us, the clouds that accompanied Wednesday's sunset were much prettier. You sent us parade pictures from all over the state. Floats, fire trucks, and a fife and drum corps for Brantford. Some interesting vehicles in Bristol, a high school band, and veterans from Old Saybrook. Troops marching in Mystic. And kids, lots and lots of kids, dressed in red, white, and blue, marking Memorial Day. Which is something you did in many ways, from running a road race to going off-roading, playing in the water, or just dipping your toes in the pool, doing a bike ride for the Hole in the Wall Gang camp, selling lemonade to fight ALS, or getting patriotically creative with desserts. But the most memorable images you shared were the ones that captured the true meaning of the day, like this little guy kissing the flag, or this bigger guy saluting it, and this one bowing his head below it. Taking a moment to remember the men and women who paid the ultimate price to honor their service and sacrifice and appreciate our freedom. That was so touching. Great pictures, great pictures, and so many we didn't get to put in the recap. You can check those out at WTNH.com, and you can keep those photos coming. Send them to report at WTNH.com. Use the very handy News 8 app on your smartphone. Good job, Chris Bullard. Thank you, and Jim Bagley, the editor.